Hi there, and welcome to another video. If this is your first one, welcome to the channel. I hope everyone is doing well. This video is gonna be pretty short. There's just two items I've been working on over the last week that I wanted to show you all. And the first one you saw me build in the beginning of the video. And that is my handlebars for my camera setup. In the last video, you saw me build the tripod rig for the Blackmagic Micro Cinema camera that included the monitor and the battery pack on the back. And that's really great for what I'm doing here, just talking to you all. But if I wanna be shooting B-roll or if I wanna be following a character in the film, there isn't really a good way to hold the camera. And that's what these are for. It slides on to the Arca Swiss mount that's already on the rig. So I can easily transition from the tripod to the handles. I can actually slide it onto this right now. And I have kind of like, it's on both. So I can clamp one down and then loosen the other one and slide the camera rig right off without having to jostle it around, trying to snap it into any parts. So I'm happy with the way it turned out. It's made off of an Arca Swiss mount and handlebar grips, all of which I bought off of Amazon. And then I 3D printed the two handlebar attachments and the main bracket for the Arca Swiss clamp. We'll go ahead and leave this here and we'll move on to the second item, which is something I've been working on for about a year and a half now. That's when I originally had the idea of making this upgrade. It finally came to fruition this week and I've been spending the better part of Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday putting it together and getting it up and running. And that is my new workstation. But before we get into the details of the computer and why I built it the way I did, I figured I'd go ahead and slide the camera rig off of the tripod, go into the inside workbench to introduce my new workstation to you all. This is so neat. To go over the specs of it, it is powered by an AMD Ryzen Threadripper. It's the 1950X, which is a 16 core, 32 thread, 3.7 gigahertz base clock processor that is mounted on the Asus Zenith Extreme X399 motherboard. It has 64 gigs of RAM. I'm using the NVIDIA Quadro RTX 4000 to power my graphics. And all of that is stored in the Meshify S2 from Fractal Design. I am super stoked about this computer. It has been a dream of mine to build a new workstation for a year now, and I'm so happy I finally have it. So the primary reason I spec the computer out the way I did is because majority of my work that I do for my business is CAD work and simulation work, where I'm running Autodesk Inventor, designing parts, or I'm using their Autodesk simulation package and I'm testing their parts. And the previous computers I used were basically higher end gaming laptops that did a good job, but not a phenomenal job. And if I'm gonna be building one for work, I'm gonna build one that the research shows should excel at what I do for business on a day-to-day -day basis. And that's why I went with AMD. The internet and most of the industry seems to agree that the AMD Threadripper is more suited for simulations compared to their Intel counterparts. The same thing goes with the Quadro line cards compared to the other Nvidia graphics cards and being able to handle like large assemblies and some of the assemblies that I run are two to three thousand part assemblies and I can tell that my laptops just got bogged down 
where now if I open them on my computer, they don't struggle. It's just so much easier to work on this computer than it was before. I haven't gotten to run any simulations quite yet on this computer, but I have a feeling I'm going to be astounded by the difference in runtime between my new computer and the older. Most of the work I do is protected by NDAs that I've signed with the customers, so I can't go into too many details about the work, but once I get a few simulations under my belt on this new computer, I probably will be able to give you a high level comparison between the laptops that I used to be using compared to my new workstation. And the business side is really what drove the specs for this new computer. As far as the YouTube side goes, because I upgraded to the Blackmagic Micro Cinema Camera and I'm using the Pro Res file format, the files are much more dense than the Canon files that I used to be using. And I needed a computer that could handle those file sizes easier so that my workflow didn't get bogged down. With that said, this being my first video I've done with the Blackmagic Micro Cinema Camera and doing the editing on my new workstation, things just are going so smoothly and I'm just, I'm extremely happy and I'm extremely excited to see where not only my work is going, but where these videos are going to go. And I hope that I can continue to grow and continue to make these things better and better. And I just want to excel at making better and better videos every time I publish one. And I think that's where we're going to end this one. As always, thank you for watching. I do really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video and would like to get updates of when more videos are posted, go ahead and subscribe below. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them down below. And as always, have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.